people connect with Audubon through their hearts, whether they're connecting through the Everglades or through the Gulf Coast or Long Island Sound. People bring their hearts to Audubon. If you look at what people think, who they can trust in the world of environment, the world of conservation, first name is Audubon. Audubon has been around for over a hundred years. It's a conservation-minded organization. I believe in the environment and I support anyone that's doing things to preserve the environment. Thank God they exist. Thank God the Audubon Society exists so others might exist. I love the idea of taking care of the birds. Anything that helps us to protect our environment, our ecology, everything around us, I'm in. It's a wonderful legacy to be able to inspire other younger people coming after us to protect the environment and protect birds. Audubon's 109 years old. They've been around for a long time, and they're just a great institution, a wonderful board. They're at the forefront of the conservation environmental movement. Welcome to the National Audubon Society's 2014 Gala Dinner. 470 Audubon chapters, 800,000 members, an audience of 4 million, 47 education centers, 22 state offices. That's us, that's Audubon. It's a special honor to be here, a special honor to accept this award. It's humbling to accept it from one of our conservation partners, the National Audubon Society, a wonderful organization with a great tradition, over 100 years old, that has stood at the forefront of conservation. There's one definition of Audubon which applies to the issues that are facing us ahead, and that is trust. Audubon is trustworthy. When Audubon has said something, people believe it. When Audubon says something, it's true. This was a powerful reminder that a life's work is a legacy when others carry it forward. You can see Dan's and Pat's values in Audubon's work and in the work of every organization here tonight. Gentlemen, one last round of congratulations. Thank you and thank you all for coming.